Hi, my name is Jason England and I'm from New Rise Media and I'm speaking to Flavio from Industrial Design about the WASP, the World's Advanced Saving Project, but it's a big ass 3D printer. So could you tell me a little bit more about it please and what you do? Yeah, the 3 meter, it's, um, it's a, our latest product. Yeah. It's called 3MT because it's 3 meters tall but also multi-tool. Yeah. So it has um, 3 uh, heads. Yeah. So this one is a um, pellet extruder yep. and it's one of its kind. So it's one of the first printed uh, as a three, um, pellet extruder. Yep. But you can also mount a clay extruder and uh, a CNC milling machine. Yep. So this printer is made for you know, fab labs or everyone wants to be uh, independent in building furniture yep. and uh, real life stuff, like real life working uh, things. Okay, um, and do you think something like this will be or cater to the everyday person? Will everybody have some of these things in their house for furniture, or do you feel like it's more for manufacturing well, the business? Well, uh, let's see. I think that right now it's still a new form of artisan. Yeah. yeah. It's not probably um, for every man, but we also have small printers for everyday yeah. objects as well. So we try to do a broad range of uh, yeah. things. Yeah. Um, and. Okay, tell me a little bit about what's going on right here in terms of the 3D printing. Sure. So I know it's printing the chair over here, sure. which I'll do a quick way. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, what exactly is going on? So uh, you have a hopper yeah. in which you put the raw material, so the, the PLA right now is in granulates, yeah. and goes through this tube into the chamber where there's a screw that is pushing all the material through a heated chamber. Yeah. So the heated chamber melts the materials and uh, pushes into the its place. Then you have a cooling system that cools the materials when it's outside the extruder. Yeah. yeah. And at what temperature does this thing need to run to like melt the plastic down to become this substance? This one, this, this PLA, it's a um, it's a biocompatible material. It's yeah. bioplastic, and it melts at uh, 195 degrees, 195 yeah. degrees right now. Okay. But it can reach, like the extruder can reach easily 250, so you can use more or less every time of plastics. Yeah. And you also have a heated bed, so you can control somehow the warping. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I guess the last question is, um, what do you feel the future of 3D printing is? I keep asking everybody, and the general idea that I'm getting is it's much more for the manufacturing side of things. So I've heard mm. one person talk about in IKEA they can 3D print extra screws mm. whenever you run out of them or anything like that. I just want to get your perspective on what you feel the future is. Well, um, the trend for us, what we see is that we move into bigger things, like yeah. into bigger printers. We also have the biggest Delta printer in the world, it's 12 yeah. meters tall, and we designed it for houses, so this is our main goal. Yeah. And we're funding this research by selling these machines. Yeah. So our goal is to uh, build houses in places in danger, places after catastrophes where you don't have manpower, you don't have materials, yeah. you don't have power. Uh, so we designed a sustainable, a really sustainable printer yeah. that only has 1.5 kilowatts, uh, so it can go with solar panels. Yeah. So the main goal for us and the trend for the future is to build larger things yeah. like villages. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the if we were to put a bit of a timeline on it, how, yeah. do you, how long do you think it would be to make something like a 3D printed house attainable? Well, we already done that. <laughs> so. All right, you've already done that. Then, yeah. Kind of thing. Um, and is that on a? Yeah, no, and it's, it's, it's of yeah. course, yeah. This is just um, it's development right now. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a new thing. But what we've done is we already built um, an architecture volume yeah. of five meters in diameter and three meters in height, okay. using only um, local materials and environmental yeah. materials like clay and straw fibers. So I think in the next years we will see the first villages, yeah. and uh, there are there's many there are many things going on right now. So we'll see in the future. All right, cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Flavio. Okay.